world as chatty dad one here um, with you today um, I'm gonna show you what uh, kind of what I'm doing some of y'all might think I'm crazy but uh, right now I, I don't got much choice the bills got to be paid but anyways um, this is my place that I used to live in before I got married and my property here and all back there and goes over there and out to the front there but um, what I've been having to do is I'm having to strip this mobile home I used to live in. Um, I used to rent it out, but you know, I got took by so many renters that it became a burden upon me. And the main reason that I'm doing this is because I can't afford to pay the taxes as they are right now. Um, you know how things are. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. But, like I say, bills got to be paid. Um, it used to be a really nice place. And I fixed it up several times. But, uh... The tenants flooded the floors. Uh, flooded and got, you know, flooded the... Um, stuff and water got all over the floors and ruined them you know in a mobile home you can't get water on the floors but anyway I come in and put this new carpet down oh three years ago four years ago maybe probably four years ago but anyway my taxes is several thousand dollars a year for this place and I can't afford to to pay it especially I mean it's not in condition to be rented out it uh the roof got a major leak in it I don't know what happened the tenants that I had here stuck me with five months rent before I was able to evict them. Um, I mean, you know, just some really crappy things happened. Um, but, you know, that's life. I did the best I could by everybody and I gave people, you know, more than a fair chance of back rent and stuff like that you know they, <laughs> they just left a mess I used to have a uh, double glass door right here just like on the side and they busted it out the uh, somebody has stole the air conditioner out from around there and like I'm showing you the floors is falling in and I even after I come out here and re redid all these floors um, now this is all the part that I redone and you know they they friggin ruined it look what they did to the doors you know And uh, let me show you what they did to my closet back here. This really ticked me off. You see that? They cut a hole from one closet through to the other. I guess so they could have a secret compartment or something like that. I mean, <laughs> these are 
These are adults here that I rented this place out. Look at this. Yeah, adults that I rented this place out to. I think they was growing weed or something in here too. But, uh, you know, I just, I can't afford the taxes anymore on it. And I don't got the money to fix it up. Um, I don't know if I would even if I did. The way I got shafted with this tenants that I've had, you know, it's a shame. Anyhow, um, back to showing you what I'm doing. Oh, they've got a padlock on the front door. <laughs> That's just really nice, huh? I already got all the aluminum off of here. This was a aluminum roof and porch. Got all the aluminum off here, the wiring. That might bring me 50 bucks. Wiring might bring me 10 or 15. But, uh, as you can see, the friggin' tree fell and it didn't fall on the house, but my uh, antenna there almost did. The tree caught it. But But yeah, what I'm doing is I'm taking everything that I can scrap out out of here. That aluminum door right there, that's all this siding, all the wiring, everything. That I can. There must be a screw still left in there to uh, get some money. I mean, I got bills to pay. Gotta do what I gotta do. Plus, when uh, I get done taking this thing apart and getting everything salvageable from it, I'm going to call the tax man and tell him to come back out here and survey my place. And that will cut my taxes in half because I can't afford to keep paying them like this. It's ridiculous. And, you know, I'm trying to sell the land, you know. I mean, it's a rock bottom price, and I've been trying to sell it five acres with this place for fifty thousand, and uh, <laughs> it's been two two years now, and I've had a couple people that tried to get loans and couldn't. But anyway, that's what I got going on. And, uh, you know, I really, I don't, can't really blame anybody, but like I say, I'm, I'm going to do what I got to do. Right now, I don't got no work coming in, so I got time available. And, uh, I'm going to take advantage of this and kill two birds with one stone. But ain't it a shame that here in the United States of America... A man has got to be reduced to bring his own house to the ground so that he's not hit with thousands of dollars in taxes every year. 
for something that is not even livable. I mean, they say that it is, but <laughs> they, don't, they don't go inside or nothing. It's bull crap. I'd never rent it out like it is to nobody. I'd have to spend at least 5000 to get it back up to par. I mean, they took the stove, you know, the fridge. I mean, there's flooring problem. I mean, you know, I just can't do it. But I'm going to do the best I can. Anyway, hope everybody's having a good day. And uh, God bless and good luck to us all. I hope y'all are getting prepped and getting ready. Because uh, the time ain't much longer. They're, they're getting jumpy. Anyway, love y'all. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over and out.